and the like will forever be acknowledged through our lives and career paths. Through your generous gifts, those who started out like that little boy with the sandy red afro are given the opportunity to pursue their dreams. So finally, as the Baptist preacher would say in my conclusion, to all of the senior <laughs> students, let this old man speak directly to you. I wanted to do something bigger with my life. I wanted to make an impact not just on music students, but people. Even the fork agrees with me. <laughs> In Atlanta, I love my own career. I know. <laughs> this is what you get, right? <laughs> In Atlanta, I love my own career, my students, my church, my social life, and having a regular salary. <clears throat> I was very scared about moving so far away from home, not knowing anyone, and not sure if I would fit in or feel part of this institution. I cried most of the 21 hour drive from Atlanta to Denver. At every gas station, every food stop, every bathroom break, I considered turning around. I kept wondering, why am I doing this? I told myself, Fred, turn around and go back to Atlanta where people look like you, act like you, believe like you, and know you. As I was driving through the cornfields of Kansas, anybody been there? <laughs> Someone messaged me on Facebook. And if you know me, you know that's anyway. Saying, it's all right to be scared, Craig. Just do it scared. So in my closing, I want to encourage all of my College of Music brothers and sisters that it's all right to be scared and afraid. The unknown future has a way of making us uneasy, but stand firm and do it scared. New experiences have a way of making us a little leery, but grip your teeth and do it scared. Sometimes the fear of failure makes us anxious and sometimes nauseous, but stand with your face <laughs> against the wind and do it scared. Thank you all for your part in making my dreams come true, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.